Hey everyone, so in that clip you just saw, um, that's basically where I have gotten to this weekend. Um, everything in this video was over two days, filmed over Saturday and Sunday, and now it's Sunday evening and I'm just going through what I, what I did over the past two days. So I have my big checklist here in front of me. Um, of all of the things that I did, so all the little steps that I took um, to to achieve achieve this, basically. <laughs> um, so what I've got here is I've got my bodice pieces. So these are um, cut out already. Um, there's a layer of cotton lawn backed to each of them, and they were hand basted around the edges. Um, this is also after I dyed the blue teal fabric a fourth time. So just so you know why the lawn, the cotton lawn on the back is a bluey teal colour, it's because I dyed it um, after I had cut out the pattern pieces. Sorry if this is going on a big long tangent, but um, yeah, basically the cotton lawn was dyed because I had to dye the fabric a fourth time after they were pieced together um, backed with the cotton lawn. Gosh that was okay next thing next thing so I then ironed all of those pieces um, and then basted each of the pieces together vertically so what I mean by that is that the vertical sections so the top teal color and then its bottom nude counterpart they were sewn together first basted um, so all of those were basted and then they were machine stitched down. So I think still here I'm just basting. I haven't actually gotten around to using the sewing machine yet, but I will. Um, so with this, what I found helpful to do was to actually fold the edge of the teal fabric half an inch. So fold it and then that would crease the fabric and then leave me a very faint line of where to where to baste and hand stitch. Oh here we go, I'm at the sewing machine now and basically I um, just made sure that all of those basted pieces aligned um, in terms of where the like zigzag things are on, on the bodice, so like where the teal and the nude colours match to, to create that pattern. Um, so I just machine stitched over the top of where I basted basically and then pulled out all of those basting stitches once that was done. So those are all of the vertical pieces sewn together. I then trimmed the seam allowances and pressed all of the seam allowances open. Um, I was considering pressing all of the seam allowances upwards but then I realised that created a bit too much bulk so yeah seam allowances pressed open flat um, was the way I did it and then here I'm starting to piece together the um, everything horizontally um, so just in that clip just before I was matching up the centre front seam um, yeah but then I, I went to the ironing board and decided to actually iron out all of my seams instead because on one of my other videos, someone mentioned I should actually iron all of my seams no matter what. So I'm being a good little seamstress and I'm ironing. Okay, now back to matching up the two center front pieces. Sorry, the two front pieces to create the center front seam. So you can see me doing that there. Um, with this, I don't know why, but the bottom two pieces, the bottom two nude colored pieces were cut on like some weird angle, like not a straight line so I had to figure out where I needed to actually sew to get that straight center front seam um, but ended up doing that fine and then I moved on to the side front pieces so same process um, folded the edge half an inch inwards created a crease um, marked out with chalk where I needed to baste and then basted all of that down and then continue doing that. It's it's very repetitive. Um, it took a long time. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much else to say. And then finally, I can move on to the back pieces. Again, same process. 
and then not long until I am able to bring them over to the sewing machine and machine stitch all of that down. Um, again, the reason why I base stitch is because I'm working with so many different layers of fabric. Um, I've got cotton lawn, polyester, chiffon, um, and then all of the weird like seam lines and craziness going on. So basting is important for this. Okay, so now that everything has been machine stitched down, I can start trimming away seam allowances, especially in that pointy center front part um, there's a lot of fabric going on there, so I need to get rid of it. <laughs> and then um, I decided to add boning channels. And the way I did this was used some cotton tape and I pinned it only to the seam allowance. Um, I did not pin it to the actual bodice fabric that was going to be showing on the outside, only to the seam allowance. I sewed obviously down the two sides of the boning channel so left and right as you can see here um, my stitching lines were pretty wonky but hey it works and i just made sure that i was able to insert the boning which i was able to and then because i was happy with the way that one worked i progressed with the two other boning channels so in total there are three boning channels in this body this bodice layer why did I say body? Anyway, in this bodice layer. So there's one in the center front and then two that create that V shape on either side of the front. Hopefully that made sense. If you know what the costume looks like, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so then I, um, here I'm sewing the bottom edge of the corset. So this is not the bodice, um, this is the actual corset foundation layer from like part one of this video series um, because I did end up trimming that whole bottom off to match the bodice here. So yeah. Um, and then I, um, I binded the back edges, only the bottom edges of the back pieces. And for that, I just used some cotton tape. Um, yeah, so sewed that and then understitched it. And now I'm moving on to <laughs> cutting out some pieces. Um, so I cut out the shoulder pieces and the cup pieces, and then also these like weird rectangles um, because I needed some extra coverage in the back of the bodice. So I, I thought, um, I, I moved on to cutting out pieces because I needed the extra two pieces for the back of the bodice. Um, but while I was at, at the cutting stage, I thought I may as well just cut out all of my pieces. So that's why I'm cutting out the um, cup pieces and the shoulder pieces as well, even though you will not be seeing me use them in this video. <laughs> um, so yeah, I cut all of those twice out of the um, the main fashion fabric which is a polyester of some sort and then also the white cotton lawn and then here are the two weird rectangle pieces I was telling you about that's what I needed to fit on the back of the bodice but I also didn't touch those pieces in this video anyway back to binding the bottom edges of the bodice layer so um, remember those cotton um, those cotton tape pieces um, so basically I flipped those under and then top stitched very 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 close to the bottom edge um, yeah so that would keep that in place and then I also just hand stitched um, hand stitched it to the inside of the bodice and um, yeah just made sure to not have my stitching visible from the outside so only go through the cotton lawn and obviously the cotton tape. So that is the center, why do I keep saying center? That is, that, is, that is the back piece. Those are the back pieces, the bottom edges of the back pieces binded. There we go, I said it. <laughs> um, okay, now the boning is in, so there are the three boning pieces, um, center front and then the two like V-shaped side front pieces and then with the actual side the side pieces 
sorry, the side seams, I'm matching up with those with the side seams of the actual um, corset foundation layer. And, um, and then I just hand sewed, so stitched all along that seam. So I stitched in the ditch, um, yeah, making sure to go right through to the back, all the way to the, um, the actual cotton drill, which was used for the corset foundation layer. So essentially there I'm like sewing through, oh, who knows? quite a lot of fabric it's very thick um, and I did use back stitches for this I did not just sew a regular running stitch I had to use back stitches for this and this probably was the most time consuming out of everything I did over the weekend and my fingers were sore very sore RIP my fingers okay what am I doing here okay I think here I'm hand basting the bottom edge of the front pieces and that's to bind the bodice layer to the actual corset foundation layer. Um, so I did try the corset on or the whole bodice, I don't know what to call it now, the whole structure. Um, I did try it on and then had to like pin where I wanted the um, bodice layer to um, I guess stretch to on when it was on me because in the actual movie the, the actual costume there is pretty much no puckering whatsoever so I really had to make sure that the fabric was um, pulled down very taut um, to you know achieve the smoothest look as possible anyway um, back to what I'm doing in the clips I am trimming the down the the seam allowance for the actual corset foundation layer and then um, folding over the edge of the actual bodice layer and then pinning that down in place and then hand basting it I'm pretty sure there's a lot of hand basting yes so hand basting that down um, yeah so this is just to finish off the bottom edge of the front basically um, I don't know what else to explain. Um, yep, so, so, so. Oh, okay, we're moving on to the sewing machine. Now I'm just top stitching very, very close to the edge um, along the bottom edge of the front two pieces. Uh, when I say front two pieces, I literally mean the front right side and the front left side. <laughs> And then I'm using some um, polyester bias binding and then covering up the raw edges that were folded over in the center front. So pinning that all down. And then while I was at this stage, I thought, yeah, I may as well bind the, um, the back edges of the corset as well. So using the same um, bind bias binding to finish off those back bottom edges. And this is of the actual um, corset foundation layer, not the bodice layer. Um, yeah. And I actually sewed um, the bias binding the correct way, which is you, you sew an unfolded side first on, on one side and then you flip it over and then top stitch it down. Um, so, yeah. Not like how I did the um, corset foundation layer when I was sewing those those bias binding pieces um, the incorrect way and then finally I just need to do a basic running stitch along the bias binding on the inside to finish off the bottom edge of the front pieces um, yeah and then so there's just a stitch that goes along the bottom edge of the bias binding and then one that goes along the top edge of the, of the bias binding. And then with that, that, that should be it. I don't think there was anything else for this video. And yep, that's it. So uh, that's what it's currently looking like. It's actually sitting over on my table at the moment and it looks just like that. Um, you can see that the back pieces, so there, the bodice layer is only attached at the side seams and then the back pieces are left loose 
um, so they can be zipped up over the top of the lacing in the back. So that's it for this video. Um, yeah, make sure to check out my other Jasmine making videos and um, subscribe to see more. Okay, bye!